welcome back nail queens today's video i'm going to be showing you guys a tutorial on how to color block without using tape today's video is sponsored by nail boo so all of the products i'm going to be using here today are nail boo products to start off i'm going to go through all of the materials you are going to need so you're going to need your dip powder liquids base activator and a top coat you're also going to need some sort of dusting brush the dusting brush I have here is good for glitter, so you don't dust off too much of the glitter. And obviously a cuticle pusher to do your prep. And you're going to want a file and a buffer to do any file buffing and shaping. To start off, apply the step one base bond to the entire nail. Make sure it fully covers the nail because we are going to be doing color blocking without any tape. So you need a base bond on the entire nail. I'm gonna be color blocking into the jar. So I'm gonna stick my finger into the jar at an angle so that I only cover part of the cuticle area. So it's gonna eventually just leave a small V shape showing at the cuticle area. I'm gonna repeat that same color block, but to the complete opposite side so it covers looking like a V. You can choose to tap off the excess or just leave it, it doesn't matter, but the nail should look like this after you're done dipping in the pink powder. And now you want to pour over. It's very important that you pour over so that you don't contaminate the second color with the pink that you had just dipped in. So I am putting glitter here at the cuticle area and tapping it off and I'm gonna let everything dry before I dust it off and repeat the process all over again. Repeating the process will be very easy. You're just going to apply base bond to the entire nail and then when you're dipping into the jar, you already have the lines as guides on where to stop on how far up for the powder to go when you're dipping into the jar. So I'm going to place my finger into the powder, dipping at an angle and then stopping when the powder reaches that first pink line. Let it sit for a couple seconds. Take my finger out of the jar, tapping off any excess and then switching angles to the other side, stopping at the pink line again. You don't want to wait too long to pour over the glitter into the cuticle area. If you wait too long, the base bond step one can begin to dry and it will be harder for the dip powder to stick to that area. So definitely move as fast as you possibly can in order to do this process. When it's all dry, dust it all off and you'll have a nail looking like this. Now, if you feel like you want to do more layers, you absolutely can. So go in for a third layer if that's what you want or encapsulate in the clear build powder to protect the design. It's absolutely important that you use build powder, clear powder to encapsulate any designs that you've done on your nails. This will prevent you from filing away any glitter or any color pigment when you are doing your filing, shaping, and buffing. So right now I'm applying dip base to my nails and dipping in the clear build powder. When that's dry and I've dusted it off, I apply activator to the nail. This will harden and solidify the design so that it can be ready for filing, shaping, and buffing. Now, before I get into the filing, shaping, and buffing, I want to do my ring finger. So I'm going to do a second design on this nail. It's going to be the same exact pattern, but I'm going to invert it. I'm going to use glitter as the primary color and a solid translucent color for the cuticle area.
Instead of doing a third layer of the color blocking design, I'm going to apply it step one and dip into the clear build powder to encapsulate the design. Glitters tend to be thicker in consistency and bulk up the nail faster than solids do, so I don't want to make this nail too bulky and too thick. In order to harden the dip powder so I can file shape and buff, I have to apply a generous layer of activator to the nail and give it ample time to dry and harden. In order to file and shape my nails, I'm going to use the rough side of the nail file to do that. And when I want to smooth out the nail, I just have to flip the file over to the smooth side of the nail to smooth out the tops of the nail. If my nails feel too bulky, I will still use the rough side to smooth out the top. I dusted off the nails and now I'm applying a generous layer of activator to the nail so I can give it that final harden to make sure everything is nice and hard and ready for my top coat. I have to wait exactly two minutes before applying my top coat to the nails, so I'm letting this air dry for two minutes and then I'm going to go in and apply my top coat. I only need to apply one layer of top coat to the nails for it to be glossy and nice and hardened. And that is it. This is the final result of doing cobbler blocking without any kind of tape. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe so you can get notified of more videos to come. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.